And good evening to you. Thanks for joining us for 17 News at 6 on this Tuesday evening. I'm Jim Scott. And I'm Tammy Melchuk. It's good to have you with us. We have those stories and more coming up. Topping our news here at 6 o'clock almost two months ago, the Bakersfield Police Department created a new unit designed to address a high visibility crime, organized retail theft. So what exactly does this new retail detail do and how is it faring? 17's Robert Price posed those questions and filed this report. You've seen the videos, coordinated assaults on retail establishments, smash and grab, safety in numbers, or perhaps better stated, intimidation in numbers. Could it happen here? It has, although perhaps not as large scale or shockingly dramatic. But it's an issue here, enough of one that two months ago, the Bakersfield Police Department formed a unit specifically tasked with working alongside retail security officers to identify trends and specific schemes that cost retailers and retail customers big time. This month, the BPD asked the City Council to fund 12 new positions, and half of those will address retail theft. This is Chief Greg Terry. The sworn police officer positions that are coming, one is a captain, one is a lieutenant, to really focus on our quality control, oversight, and accountability mechanisms. But then two sergeants are going to go directly to, to the field. One is our organized retail theft unit that was recently um, created, and we know that our community is being impacted by mm -hmm. that on a daily basis. And the other sergeant will be for our impact team, which is really focusing on quality of life and homeless-related issues. BPD spokesman Sergeant Robert Pear said early returns from the special unit are in Encouraging. We've gotten good feedback from retail merchants and our customer base. Uh, and, you know, in a month and a half, I think it's telling uh, that we've arrested well over 70 people uh, for various charges regarding organized retail theft. BPD's retail detail meets at least once a month with store security personnel in group settings at which everyone shares trends they're seeing. This unit also meets on a routine basis with certain merchants who are seeing specific trends. It's all about preventative policing based on investigative data. Some cities have seen a huge percentage of retail theft crimes being committed by a relatively small group of criminals, as much as one-third in the case of New York. BPD hasn't seen that yet. I don't have that data. However, if I found out that that was the case, I would not be surprised in the least. The special unit has been together only a short time once they're able to develop data over more time and crack the veil of apathy that pervades in some corners of the retail community. Look for a better picture of what's going on here in the world of organized retail theft. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.